friends, the love, the lover, beloved. Ishkala Mahuneva. Ishkala. You saw it like recently. No, no. Here we enter the Santa Lucia, which we considered our womb space, where everybody gestated for seven days until they were reborn again, awake, sovereign, with more love and freedom. So notice the windows, blue and red. It's always for the masculine and the feminine. When I go to churches, I always look at the type of Jesus that they're showing. And there's always one or two Jesus as you could see at any church. The first Jesus, the most common Jesus we see, is Jesus on the crucifix. I like to nickname this Jesus, Vampire Jesus. And I call him Vampire Jesus not because of him being a vampire, but of the uh, people using the symbolism to keep us in an energetic of fear, of pain, of suffering, the idea that uh, pleasure, joy, happiness in this realm is sinful. So to me that's like very vampiric because the powers that be uh, feed off the contraction, the fear. The second type of Jesus we have is always glorious Jesus. Glorious Jesus, you'll always see him uh, in a white robe. You'll always see a sacred heart with his heart on fire and radiating the light. And to me, uh, when I walk into a church or a chapel, I always look at what kind of Jesus they are promoting and it will always give me an idea of the ancestry or the lineage uh, of the energy that they were perpetuating in the church. Now when I see this, it's always a reminder that, you know, you know, a lot of people, they wear crucifixes and it's one thing to wear a cross. And ideally, the cross that you wear should be like equal-sided because what it represents is the masculine and the feminine realms connecting in the middle. That's the initial meaning of the cross. Uh, sky and earth, the material and spirit realms. So that's what the cross represents. So actually, when you have, when you wear a crucifix with vampire Jesus on it, it's actually a spell for keeping us in lower vibrations. Um, I'm sure some people will disagree. I'm sure some people will argue it's about the sacrifice that he made and so on and so on and so on. But the Jesus that I want to remember is the Jesus that went through the, the sacrifice. But I want to see him as the, the lover, the compassionate healer, the rebel. Uh, those are images that could empower us, whereas this, we tend to forget the message that he offered and just focused on the suffering and the last, uh, the last hours or days of uh, Christ, or Jesus actually. Uh, I would say that a lot of people in this, after spending a week at the spiritual sexual shamanic experience, have experienced a resurrection. They have gone into the depths of the underworld like uh, stories of Inanna and the Sumerian uh, myths. And they all went into the underworld courageous to unpack all that which they uh, had stored. And slowly, through the acceptance of one's body and oneself, through breath, sound and movement, and through the idea of pleasure as power, we start to resurrect and we have 21 people now heading off into the world with more love and freedom as sovereign beings just as Jesus was. Jesus was a rebel. He went against the system. We all have the Christ within us. If we have the courage to go into the underworlds, release what no longer serves us, release, let go of the limited beliefs that control our everyday life, 
that keep us small, that keep us playing small within a system that wants us to fit into one specific place to feed a, an unhealthy system. So, as we do our own inner work, we too can take the true path and we too can resurrect and become a Christ. So, to me that does not say, does not give us our potential. It is only a way to remind us of our suffering of this plane and to keep us away from our pleasure, our birthright, and our ecstasy. I have been waiting for this moment for 15 years. <laughs> In the beginning of the full moon, it was very special. I have been called to Costa Rica for the last two years when I found out that the spiritual, sexual, shamanic experience level one was being given here, I decided to come and uh, had an insane week. It was just every day was better than the last and blew my mind. And I had just started getting back into my magical path. So it was perfect timing. So you got a glimpse of the experience of the spiritual, sexual, shamanic experience. We just closed. It was another amazing journey. Another perfect score, 100 on 100 of people who got their intentions fulfilled, I guess, for uh, their intention for coming to the training. Why, would they, why were they coming to the training? And by the end, everybody said that their intention or their expectation was met or surpassed. I have only one thing to say, and you guessed it. It's let love free.